Okay. First of all, we are going to find, no matter what information they ga give us, we are going to find the gradient first. Once we have the gradient, we'll use this idea to find the B value. Because if we have A, I've got one parameter left to solve. If I have one parameter left to solve, all I need to do is substitute any point on the curve into my function where my A is already found. Okay, so there's one of two things that can happen. Either they can give you the gradient directly or indirectly. What do I mean by they give you the gradient indirectly? Well, they can, for example, say that the line you're trying to find is parallel to another line. Okay, so if I have one line that's parallel to another line, it means that they have the same direction they have the same direction which means that they have the same gradient the gradient of the one line will be equal to the gradient of another line let's look at an example find the equation of the line through the point 1 comma 1 parallel to the curve and there they give us the curve that my line is parallel to so it doesn't matter what this curve um, looks like all I need to do is find this curve's gradient and I can s and that means I need to write it in the form y is equal to ax plus b at this point there's a n there's a 2 in front of the y so just divide both sides with the 2 that means it cancels on the one side and on the other side the 2 gets distributed 4x over 2 minus 1 over 2 and we find that this line's gradient is 2x or the gradient is 2 that means the equation that I'm trying to find the unknown curves equation what I already know is that my gradient is equal to 2 so what I have is that y is equal to 2x plus b that's wonderful news because now you can see that I have only one parameter left to solve I only have my y intercept left to solve so I do that by substituting any point on the curve and they gave me a point they said it passes through the point 1 comma 1 so y is 1 when x is equal to 1 as well so I replace y with 1 and I replace x with 1 and then I just solve for b now b will be equal to negative 1 when I solve it and that means y is equal to 2x minus 1 this is the equation that is parallel to that line and is passing through the point 1 comma 1